Ah, uh, Star Wars. Even though I cringe at 90% of what Disney has done with the franchise, I still have a place in my heart for Star Wars. You can trace the origins of that love back to my childhood, but not with movies. No. For me, it was games. As a young RTS enjoyer in the early 2000s, with years of experience in Age of Empires, Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds was perhaps the perfect gateway. And by the end of this video, we'll know whether it holds up today with the help of a certain mod. Galactic Battlegrounds was created by the late, great developer LucasArts, a studio that created and published all manner of Star Wars games in the 90s and 2000s. In making Galactic Battlegrounds, they licensed the Genie Engine from Ensemble Studios, making it the only other game outside of Age of Empires 1 and 2 to run on that software, which led people, even at the time, to make quips about the game simply being an Age of Empires 2 clone with a Star Wars skin thrown on top. A claim that hasn't diminished with age. And while it may indeed hold some truth, it's a bit reductive and it takes away from Galactic Battlegrounds accomplishments. Regardless, the game reviewed well at the time and it even received an expansion that tied it into the theatrical release of Star Wars Episode 2. If only movie tie-in games today were still this good. Nowadays, they can't even get them to launch in the same release window. Galactic Battlegrounds made its mark and it forms part of the small pantheon of great Star Wars RTS games next to Empire at War and maybe Force Commander, depending on who you ask. And as we all know, great games with dedicated fan bases often spawn great mods. Whether that's to change the design and mechanics, bring the game into the modern era, or to simply expand the content. And that brings us here to Expanding Fronts, a massive mod for Galactic Battlegrounds that only saw its first public release quite recently. In fact, it's only been around in, you know, downloadable form since 2016. About the same time that Galactic Battlegrounds actually became available on Steam. It does feel a little strange to say that 2016 was recent, but when compared to the base game coming out in 2001, I think it's appropriate. So obviously the team behind Expanding Fronts haven't forgotten about Galactic Battlegrounds. And neither should you. Expanding Fronts brings a ton of new content to the game, including 7 new factions, 17 new units, and nearly 100 new maps, as well as some minor gameplay changes and a few modern conveniences like a settings launcher and a 60 FPS patch. It's not perfect though, and there are some technical issues. We'll cover those in a bit, but don't worry too much. It's nothing that serious. The last big update to Expanding Fronts came with version 1.5 in December of 2022. And the mod is still in development, with a release just a couple of months ago. The biggest draw card here are the additions and changes to the factions. The total count is now at 15, 6 from Galactic Battlegrounds, 2 from the clone campaigns, and 7 from Expanding Fronts. Finally, everyone is here. All the new factions are just as fleshed out as the existing ones, complete with unique art sets, units, and technologies, along with faction bonuses and strengths and weaknesses. They slot in flawlessly next to the existing content, and they're fully voiced and animated, which gives them a very professional vibe. It makes you realise this really isn't just some mod. It's Galactic Battleground's second true expansion, or as their developers call it, the definitive Galactic Battleground's experience. In addition to the completely new factions, there's also been some work done to the existing ones, such as how the Confederacy have now been split to make the Geonosian faction their own thing, while fleshing out the base Confederacy faction to exist on their own. The variety across the whole package is huge. Even if you're a Galactic Battlegrounds veteran, there will be a ton of stuff for you to love here. The new unique units are super cool and possibly my favourite thing from this mod, because they're just implemented so well. 
The Confederacy's Magna Guards are particular standouts thanks to their sound effects and animations, but others like the Resistance Speeders from The Last Jedi and the First Order Jet Troopers are just as cool. I also love how the developers went the extra mile and changed the units out for factions where they wouldn't make sense. Like, the First Order doesn't train Sith, for example, instead they get Knights of Ren. That's great attention to detail, and it does a lot to not make them feel like a palette-swapped galactic empire. I mean, even if that is what they were in the movies. There's also a ton of stuff included for the editor that isn't available in standard games, a great inclusion that will surely increase the longevity of the mod with cool, clever, custom community creations. And thankfully too, all of the original campaigns from the base game and the clone campaigns are here and playable in the mod. This does nothing but add to my core argument of this video. Expanding Fronts is practically speaking an unofficial mega expansion to Galactic Battlegrounds that pretty much renders the original obsolete. Now you do need to own the originals to play this, but once you do, setup is really easy. It's not quite install and run via the Steam Workshop easy, but it's close. All you need to do is download the latest full version of ModDB, copy some files, and run the game via the new included exe. Once done, you can customize settings via the new launcher, such as resolution and whether you want to change the frame rate to 60. You absolutely do, by the way. Do that, and then you're off to the races. Expanding Fronts is a great mod, but that doesn't change the fact that Galactic Battlegrounds is as nearly as old as I am. I mean, the clone campaigns came out in 2002, releasing in similar windows as Age of Mythology, Warcraft 3, and Medieval Total War. The age of the 3D RTS was beginning, and the Juni engine was really starting to show its age at that point. Even its creators had ditched it for their new engine in Age of Mythology. So yeah, all the new stuff slots in right next to the base game, making it feel as good as an official expansion would, but nothing short of a definitive edition level remake can hide the number of times Galactic Battlegrounds has circled the sun. And because of that too, Expanded Fronts of course suffers from some of the inherent strangeness found in the base game, such as, why do the droid factions need food? Or houses for that matter. Like what kind of flesh amalgamations are hiding inside these robots? And why does my super battle droid ride this wild animal? Eh, uh, I guess that's maybe what the food is for. Now I thought I'd just jump in here. So in the official Galactic Battlegrounds manual, which uh, I own, naturally, it says here that 50 units of food, which is how much a worker costs, actually feeds the Ugnaughts who build the worker droids. So it's not like you're actually translating food to metal. That reasoning is a little iffy, kind of falls apart when you consider like the really big droids and I don't know how you're fitting like Ugnaughts into these tiny buildings. Whatever. I like that they tried at least. Not many people are probably going to find this in the manual anyway. While the mod does make changes to the technical side of the game, making it playable on modern systems and some other niceties, there are still some technical hurdles to clear. The most prominent issue of low FPS and bizarre resolution scaling have been solved, thankfully, but there are some side effects to this. These range from light impact issues, like a small brightness change when selecting certain UI elements, to more serious ones like hard crashes to desktop, which I've run into a couple of times over the 10 hours or so that I've played for this video. The README does preempt a lot of these things and provides solutions, so your mileage may vary depending on how well these work for you. The other main thing that holds all of this back is, funnily enough, Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. If you're used to that game, like I am, then you'll loathe the lack of modern quality of life features here, like farm auto reseeding and the ability to queue up villages or research. Plus, the obvious visual uplift and technical overhaul is hard to ignore. It'd also be nice if there was Steamworks integration, such as for multiplayer games and the workshop. So yeah, Galactic Battlegrounds is still fun, but guys, it's over 20 years old, and no mod, no matter how good, can change that. Ironically enough, the biggest thing holding back Expanding Fronts is the game it's built on. However, if that's a fact that you can accept, then Expanding Fronts is a fantastic addition to Galactic Battlegrounds. And from where I'm sitting, 
has no downsides to installing and playing. If you either used to play Galactic Battlegrounds and are interested in playing it again, or have never played the base game before and are inspired to do so thanks to this video, then I'd recommend doing it via Expanding Fronts. There's a link to download Expanding Fronts in the description of this video, and like I said you do need to own Galactic Battlegrounds like the Saga on Steam, but if you don't already you can pick it up for very cheap, it's like 5 bucks or something and on sale it's probably even better. If you have played Expanding Fronts before, then let me know in the comments what you think of it, I'd love to hear your opinions. And thanks very much for watching and for supporting me in the channel. If you want to go even further, then you can join the lovely folk over on Patreon and YouTube memberships who support me there already. You can do so for as little as a dollar a month, and you get access to the Discord, where we play RTS games pretty frequently, and just hang out. So massive thanks to those who support me there already. If you join, you'll join legends like Luke H, who joined in the night here recently, thank you. And my Cavaliers, Dikayo, Wintendo, Bad Ghosts, Sean, Grey Spirit 4, Peter, Tim, George, Nedders, John Kaiser, Juan, King Thickums, Pavel, Bram, and Christian. And big thanks to Ethan and Daniel who just joined at the Cavalier tier. Thanks guys. And big thanks to my paladins as well. Johnny, Marika, Eric, Age of Cause, Joe, Tank, and Imperit, who recently joined. Thanks so much. Hugely appreciate it. Alright, that's all for this video. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.